guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be attempting to make a swim bait. And it's going to be a bluegill swim bait. That's just the start of it. Um, I'm going to get it cut out here and stuff. And then we can uh, get started. It's going to be jointed, so it's going to have a joint probably somewhere in there. But we'll see. Uh, I'm going to be putting some detail into it, like the gills and stuff and the fin. But um, before that, for now, we'll just cut it out and stuff. And um, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell for all my new videos and yeah, get right into it. So, hope you enjoy. in the vise and I just cut a little strip off and that way you can work your way around it and curl it and that way you can get it nice and rounded and stuff so I've just found that's what works best for this after you I mean if preferably if you have a belt saver like us like that um that works best I think to start but I think this is definitely a good finishing touch to keep it round so yeah Alright guys, so I got that cut, um, okay, so I had a lot going on there, um, first of all, I was 100% stupid and stopped using my little guide, this little thing right here to keep it, you know, straight, and so I thought, oh, you know, that'll be easier, I can just cook these bandsaw, don't do that. Because I made it about two times smaller than it was. <laughs> and, I mean, it's working, but I mean, that took a long time. So, I did put in the little eye hooks there. I just used my Dremel, and I had a little sander bit, and I just kind of uh, oval it out. Got that hollowed out and good. So then I took... Um, I didn't have wire, so I took these little things right here. They are Shapenti little, I think it came with 300. So they got all those little things, and um, so yeah. They're compared to my finger, and then they're that big, so they're really small. I just put those in there, but I screwed the first ones in. But anyway, that's how that is, so. Yep, I think it's looking pretty good so far, even after all that. I cut a little hole there, and so that'll be where the fin goes. And then I'll have the fin on the top, get the eyes, and I'll carve out some detail for the lips. Or, what am I talking about? Gills, not lips. I mean, fish have lips, but that's the lips are down here. So, anyway, yeah, that's what I'll be doing after this dress. Don't want to touch it right now because I finally got it perfect, and yeah. So, see if we can get it going, and stay tuned. All right, guys. So I got those gills, gill pattern drawn. So I'm gonna carve those out now with the razor blade. Alright guys, 
guys. So after about 100 million attempts. Okay, okay. Um, that's what it seemed like. <laughs> I finally got this leveled out. So that when it sits, it sits just like that. It's finally good. Level of weight is even on both sides. So it comes down slowly and has a nice, well, it's pretty fast actually. It's kind of just like, it's like, I don't know, yeah. So like that fast down of downfall. And I added a little whip on there to get it good, have a better action. And uh, so, yep, that's what it's looking like. So now I just gotta paint it after the wood putty dries. Up. So that's where we're at. All right, guys. Um, so next is on the swim bait. Uh, it's been a while since I've worked on this because my other airbrush broke and. Had a bunch of other stuff going on, so uh, it's crazy with this whole coronavirus thing. But um, I did paint this bottom half of this bait white, and I left the top the wood color. And I'm gonna be adding on the yellow top. To it. I'm gonna make it a bluegillish pattern, and I'm hoping that it'll the yellow kind of combined with the wood color will make it like the bluegillish color. So um, if not, I'm gonna mix this. Uh, I'll have green in there with it, so if that should do it, if I do that, so that's what we'll be doing next. I actually buttoned in pretty well with that, so kind of gave that bluegill color. I'm gonna put on it for now. So I did mostly just the green and blowing the gill and stuff. Next, I'm gonna be putting um, <clears throat> this purple down up along from about uh, here, right in there, all the way down the back. So that's where that'll be going next. And yeah, I'll be doing that on both sides there. So that's what's next. Whoa, that was, why is that always happening? As soon as I hit play, it takes forever to get steady on this thing, and then it, as soon as I hit play, it always does that. Alright guys, so there's that side. That side I think I put a little too much, but I mean, we'll make it work. That side, and then this side there, I think that turned out, oh, is there a glare? Right there, you can see it. It's, I think that's about perfect how I wanted it. But a little paint goes quite a ways, so. That's what I've discovered when I've been painting. And I did this ear a lot better than this one. This one's just kind of there. That one actually comes out like an ear. I've noticed that as well. So, yeah, that's how that turned out. Okay, guys, so this is why wood putty's not ideal. I mean, that was my fault at the same time, but I was trying to go quick. But see how you can see where I've drilled that hole and put the weight? Oh, uh, that's wood, um, baking soda in liquid or thin super glue. Is def I definitely prefer that. I was out of liquid super glue, so I said, you know what, I'm just going to try it. And you can still see the holes there, which... Oops, sorry, can you see it? Which was my fault. I mean, I should have sanded it better and all that, but yeah, just so you know. All right, once again, guys, I got this mesh stuff that's got the little pattern on it like that, and um, where'd it go? There it is. I'm going to be using this one here, that little line, and I'm just going to be, whoops, sorry that one there and I'm going to be bringing that down 
up it along down it throughout it so um and then i'll have this over top of that to give it the scale pattern with that so that's what's next here Alright guys, so that's what the first side turned out like. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible at videoing right now. But, um, so yeah. Not terrible. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to keep it low. So, it's kind of very firm. It's not really fading into it at all or anything, but I think that'll be alright. So I'm going to let that dry. And then I will start the next side. But while I'm on this side, I'm going to be painting around that gill there. So that's what I'll be doing next. So I've now um, I'm at the stage where it is clear getting dried up from the clear coat. So I just have it hung up here. And it's just... Off there so that's what's drying um I actually just use this it is deft clear wood finish gloss on um, the best lacquer spray clear lacquer spray possibly so that's just lacquer and so that's what I use for the clear coat on the wood ones anyway plastic ones I don't use that I use like um it's like this Right here, but I'm gonna have to get it without the mat, clear enamel stuff. So, yeah, and if I depends on the lure, sometimes I can use this stuff too that glaze stuff. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm using for the clear coat and stuff. I know, like, the five minute epoxy and stuff that's all way better, I know, but I mean works pretty good I'm gonna give it another coat a minute but all that five minute epoxy 30 minute epoxy all that stuff mixed and all that that's much better than just using lacquer for your wood <laughs> but I mean so far I haven't had any paint scrape off and stuff so um, that's a positive but yeah that is gonna end the video for today I'm gonna put some hooks on it and stuff but uh, if you like this video, please leave it a like, and if you're not subscribed to my channel already, please do that. If you like this, this, and hit the bell for all my new videos, and comment down below, too. Give your opinion on what I should do next. So, thanks for watching, and see you next time.